When most of us think about skincare routines, facelifts, eye lifts, Botox, and beauty, we think about the female side of the ledger. However, more and more men want to look younger, brighter, and better. Dr. Martin Braun is a medical doctor who completed his course surgical training at Vancouver General Hospital in Neurology. Today, he devotes his practice to cosmetic rejuvenation at the Vancouver Laser and Skin Care Center, and it is my pleasure to welcome Dr. Martin Braun back to Studio 4 to tell us more. Oh, thank you, Fanny. Nice to see you again. You too. So, they say, men age better than women. True, not true? It is true, it is true, for a variety of biological reasons. The average male has 10 years on a woman because of skin thickness. We have more collagen and elastin, and because of testosterone, we have more oily skin, sebaceous mm. skin, we call it, which helps ward off the wrinkles. I mean, the price you pay is larger pores. In addition, our brows are generally flatter. A woman likes an arched brow or a flare brow, and both sexes, the brows are falling with age. So a man can become very hooded. I think we have some pictures of some celebrities that are hooded, but still look very attractive mm -hmm. as males. But you'll never see a female on the cover of a magazine that has a brow that's falling. Really? Yes. We're yeah. going to look at one immediately. Just <laughs> as, well, there's George Clooney. Yes. So we uh, can see. When he's 800, he'll look good. <laughs> right? Yes. But and it's true. So you say men and men shave. Yes. Does that, that help? That I believe fact that so men have because whiskers? they're exfoliating all the time as well. Okay. With the razor, and you know that will help them too. Sure. Is the stigma gone around men taking care of their skin? In your practice, yes. do you see that men actually want to cleanse and have facials? <laughs> Slowly, it's, it's all of coming that. about. Um, it started with laser hair removal. Mm -hmm. and about 20% of the clientele for laser hair removal are now male, okay, versus 80% female. For things like the injectables, like Botox, it's up to 8% now, and it's becoming more and more accepted, you know, the injectables amongst the mm -hmm. males. With fillers, it's only 5% so far with the men. Okay, so uh, let's look at some of your patients. Okay. Who will remain anonymous. Mm -hmm. Patient one, patient A, uh, a patient of yours, uh, I think he's, well, you tell me. Okay, so this fellow's in his mid-40s, and he exercises tremendously. That's why he has no facial fat on the left picture. And right. you can see his cheeks are sunken, his eyes look sunken, and uh, the skin gets sort of a ruddy complexion. And so he was given Botox and fillers over four sessions. That was accomplished on four visits. We didn't do it all at once. He came in once a month times four. And there you can see him frowning. And you see with the Botox, he doesn't look quite as angry. Mm -hmm. And he's got some cheeks now. The fold between his nose and the corner of his mouth, that's called the nasolabial fold, has been softened. It's mainly a volume issue in his case because his face is so thin. Okay, and what are the other options for him? Botox, one option. Tell yes. me, uh, you're okay with Botox. Oh, yeah, know. my face is full of it. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, yeah and yeah. You, you look I've, pretty good. I've done it for over 12 years. Really? So, so what is it exactly? Well, Botox, it's a protein made from Clostridium botulinum, a bacteria. Mm -hmm. So if you want natural, it doesn't get more natural than a unicellular organism. And Allergan, the pharmaceutical company, takes the protein from the bacteria and puts it in a bottle. And the brand name is Botox. And what's the difference between a Botox and another type of filler? Now, the fillers give you volume. The okay. hallmark of the aging process is our loss of volume. Our face is made up of little fat pads. There's a deep medial one in the cheek, a lateral one, one in the temples, the nasolabials, the marionettes. And these all deflate um, over time. It'll happen to all of us. Right. And they deflate at different rates depending on your genetic makeup. So in my case, I lost my cheeks in my 40s. And so this is all filled. Everything you see is filled right here because I had a big line going across here. The cheek fat pad actually split. Really? So, yeah. but do you have to fill a lot and often? What's the routine? Usually, I like using the temporary fillers because they're natural. I don't like anything permanent. There are permanent fillers out there, but then you can get permanent problems. Mm. With the temporary ones, I have something called Juvederm. It's hyaluronic acid in my face, and that's what you normally should have in your face. It, the reason babies feel so nice, they're full of hyaluronic acid. They are. When you pick them up. Mm. Yes. So, it doesn't hurt? No. No, you it's know, a we're tiny. About, does it hurt? Yes. Doesn't no. hurt. Little uh, yeah, a little needle prick yeah, or it's something the like that. Smallest needles known to man, and uh, we just inject the various areas that need to be filled mm -hmm. and or Botoxed, and it's a very nice natural effect. And you can do it slowly over time. Okay. And how does it feel? 
like say you have Botox in a big line yes. or underneath your eyes or in your cheeks, how does it feel? I started at age 40 and the mm. first one or two times it feels a little strange because you can't frown quite as strongly. But over time, that feeling is actually very nice. It's very calming. That's why I believe uh, Botox, for example, helps headaches. When you Botox this area of the brow, you get tremendous headache relief. Mm. Like I tell anyone who has a headache syndrome, whether it's tension headaches or migraines, they really should try Botox. If two Tylenols really? don't work, go to Botox. So worry lines, crow's feet. Those are additional areas that one can do for cosmetic reasons. Mm -hmm. The horizontal lines, which are often very strong on men. It mm -hmm. looks like they have a train track mm -hmm. crossing We're the forehead. We're looking at one here. Yes. Before and after. Oh yeah, there we can see. Now this fellow is 62. And uh, what's important with him, he had Botox, he had some fillers, but he also had something called photodynamic therapy, PDT. Mm. And that's very important for men because they generally don't wear any day creams with sunscreen. Okay. And photodynamic therapy helps get rid of the precancers that you know we inevitably get if we're fair. Sun damage uh, as damaging to men as to women? Yes, and with photodynamic therapy, you can erase these precancers without having to use liquid nitrogen or shave biopsies, which leave white marks. You see many older people walking around with little white marks on their face from liquid nitrogen right. or biopsies that the doctors perform mm -hmm. to cut off the precancers. Sure. That can so, all be done without leaving marks. And what's the downtime for that? A few days, you're red for a few days. And, but the side effect is you make more collagen and elastin in the skin as well. It's also a beauty treatment, photodynamic therapy. Photodynamic therapy, yes, and what are the other options? What's a pixel? Uh, okay, now, a, a pixel, pixel, for example, a that's pixel? a laser <laughs> okay. that makes little holes in the skin, very tiny little holes, that's called fractional resurfacing, and that rejuvenates the skin as well. And um, it, it's very commonly done. They go by other names as well, um, other trade names. Each laser company gives it a mm -hmm. name, such as Fraxel, right. Affirm, Pearl, but it's all fractional resurfacing, making little tiny holes in the skin. And each of these holes heal rapidly over a day or two, so the downtime has been diminished. And what's the body saying? The body is getting a microscopic injury and responds by making collagen and elastin. Because if you make 100,000 little holes on someone's face, mm -hmm. they will heal rapidly. Okay, and I had it done at your clinic. Um, that's why I look 12. And it, it's like little snaps on your face, little yes. kind of bright snaps. And it hurts just a tiny bit. It's just irritating more than yes. it hurts. Yes, and mm -hmm. the more one does, the more collagen you make. And it's important to do some of this maintenance because recent research has shown our fibroblasts, the cells that make the collagen, they don't just die off with age, they become little suicide cells. They destroy all the collagen around them prior to their really? demise. So they take out the entire extracellular matrix around the cell. So that's why the wrinkling process accelerates as we age. So essentially you're giving the body a message and the body goes, oops, I'm hurt. Yes. I better make some collagen. Yes, exactly. And plump up. Yes, correct. Well, yeah. I'd better get back there and plump up <laughs> some more, but we'll talk about that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Dr. Martin Braun, our guest, we're talking about men and, and cosmetics and uh, skin care and fillers and all of the above.